Okay, unique selling proposition. Why should I buy your countertop compared to your competition? <laughs> Was that answer before you came here today? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I preach. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Why, why, why should I buy from a count? Anybody? Okay. Everybody has something you do better than everybody else. If you do the process, uh, that's terrific. The last time I did this uh, particular talk, somebody said, oh, we have the best quality in town. Okay. I have... Uh, uh, up in Wisconsin, Wisconsin is my best territory, so a lot of my stories are about Wisconsin. There's a little industrial park, and there's three granite fabricators on the same lot. And for years, they got along because, you know, there was enough work to go around, they shared the work. And then a few years ago, when the, the market got bad, the first guy puts up a sign on his uh, showroom, best countertops in town. Well, about two weeks later, the next guy puts a sign twice as big and twice as tall. Best countertops in Wisconsin. So now everybody's watching the third guy. What is he going to do? Month, six weeks goes by. Sign shows up. It's shorter than the first one and, and more modest than the first one. It's smaller. It says, best countertops on the block. And we can prove it. And if you went in there and talked to him, he had a binder about every step in his process. He talked about, you couldn't read the darn thing. He would talk about the, the, his bridge saw, and it's got a diamond cut blade, and it's precision this. He took it right out of the brochure from the, the bridge saw, and he did that with each step of his process. He talked about the pad, the polishing pads, and the, all the different things, and he had this book that he created about all the things that he did. And then at the back, he had a, a, whole, a bunch of pages of letters and, and cards and, and things from his customers. Some of them he solicited from his customers, saying, oh, we, you know, we love our new countertop, everything was what the process was good. Uh, all these letters. And then he had a page of all the awards he won. And a lot of those awards were those, you, know, you guys know that you've entered the Home Builders Association, you get the award if you just show up. But he had the plaques on the wall and he had a list of all the awards in his book. So he had a reason. If you say you're the best quality, you, first of all, you better define what that means. You know, how many page, you know, what's this top going to look like? What this seems going to look like? Make that definition, live up to that, and then have a way to prove it because everybody says their product is the best. So you have to find something unique. If you don't have a unique selling proposition, the only thing you can sell on is price. Some ideas for unique selling propositions. Do you have a, a, a quartz manufacturer that nobody else have? Do you have a slab selection that nobody else has? I have a, a guy, a customer of mine, in a very small town, and he, he specializes and he goes by his orphans, one and two leftover slabs that, that don't match anything else, and he buys them, and he has a list of about 75 color neutral names. Weather, I don't remember all the names, but they don't, and so he buys the uh, two slabs of whatever, and he, the first one is number one on his list, it's weather, and the second one, and names them through 75, okay? And number one, all the grand wholesalers might be calling that Uba Tuba, but he's calling it weather. And when he gets to the list, he, when he gets to the end of the 75 list, he starts over. It could be a totally different slab. Now, if you have a customer that's come in and picked out weather, and they call up the grand wholesaler trying to buy weather, the guy says, well, we don't have anything like that. And if they do figure out that, well, weather is uba tuba, six weeks down the line when he's done that, gone through the list, it's a brand new one. So he makes his own, um, by naming it himself, they can't buy those slabs anyplace else. They may be if they go look at it, but he's got it. So some way you've got to find unique selling. What do you do unique? Uh, perhaps you can deliver, you know, three-day delivery, five-day delivery. Or if you're busy and you have six weeks delivery and somebody comes in and says, uh, well, guy on the street's given it to me and got seven-day delivery. Say, oh, well, we'd love to do it in seven days, but you know, we do everyone, uh, all our tops with such precision and we want to make sure that everybody's happy because when we're done, we want you to be telling all your friends and neighbors to come back to us. So, you know, 
thank goodness we're so busy, but it's six weeks out. But you know what? Even we're six weeks out. I'm not. I'm, we're so worried about quality that we're not going to rush your slab. And I'm sorry it's six weeks out. But other guys aren't busy because they aren't doing their job right. Not mentioning names. <laughs> but um, so his unique selling properties is, is I'm so busy because I do such a good job that it takes six weeks to get my product. So if you have a CNC machine and nobody in town has a CNC machine, well maybe your unique unique selling proposition is the precision of CNC. If you are <coughs> cutting when everybody else has got a CNC, now you talk about your hand craftsmanship. I have a great customer in Galesburg, Illinois. And the, the videos on our uh, uh, YouTube page, EclipseStainless.com forward, I'm sorry, YouTube.com forward slash Eclipse Stainless. And I made a little video and I, I said, well, what, what's unique about your slabs? And he said, oh, well, I make sure that these fit the mood of the customer and it fits the aura of the kitchen. And by the time he got done, I said, like, geez, get a room. <laughs> but that's what sells. That was his unique selling proposition. In his town, people wanted him because he was an art major and he made you love that slab. So you have to find it. what the unique selling proposition is, is up to you and what you do better than everybody else. Now, you also may need two. If you're competing, if, if half your customers are coming from the big wholesaler, you know, mass produced guys, and half are coming from the garage guy, you may have to have two different uh, unique selling propositions for different customers. 